So in this problem, we have three numbers A, B and C and they are in arithmetic progression. So we need to prove each of the following. So let's begin with the first condition, whatever we are provided with. So here we are given that A, B, C, these three numbers are in arithmetic progression. This would mean that when we subtract the first term from the second term, this value must be equals to the third term minus the second term. Now, rearranging the equation, we have 2B equals to A plus C. So whenever we have A, B, C, these three numbers are in A, B, then we have the following condition that 2 times the middle term becomes equals to the sum of the first and the third term. We'll be using that. So first, let's come to our first proof. So proof number 1. So we will begin from the right hand side and from the right hand side we will show that this is equals to the left hand side on the right hand side we have 4 times a minus b times b minus c but we can split 4 into uh, 2 times 2 so we have 2 times a minus b multiplied to 2 times b minus c now we'll multiply 2 to a minus b that gives us 2a minus 2 Multiply to 2, 2 multiplied to b minus c is going to give us 2b minus 2c. The reason why we did this in this particular fashion so that we can replace the value of 2b with a plus c. So we have 2a minus, so minus of 2b that means we'll have negative a minus c. We'll multiply to 2b minus 2c but instead of 2b we'll have a plus c minus 2c. This will be equals to, so 2a minus a, that's positive a. So we have positive a minus c multiplied to a. So positive c minus 2c is going to give us negative c. And the product is simply a minus c whole squared. And we have obtained the expression on the right hand side. Hence, our first part is done. Now let's go to the second one. Now we'll start from the left hand side. We have a squared plus c squared plus 4ac. But we'll split 4ac into two equal parts. So we have 2ac plus 2ac. Such that this can be written as a plus c whole squared. Because a plus c whole squared gives us uh, the expansion of a plus c whole squared. is a squared plus c squared plus 2ac. Plus 2 times ac. Now in place of a plus c, we can replace it with 2b. So that means we have 2 times b whole squared plus 2ac. This is going to give us the value 4 times b squared plus 2ac. Now, we'll have to be, uh, we'll use a trick here. So we can rewrite 4b squared as 2 times 2b multiplied to b. This would mean exactly the same thing, but we are instead writing in terms of 2 times 2b times b. The reason behind this is now we can again replace back 2b with a plus c. So we have 2 times a plus c times b plus 2ac. Now if we take 2 as the common factor, so this is going to give us 2 times. So we have a plus c times b, so that's ab plus c times b will be bc plus from here 2ac. We have already taken 2 as the common factor, so we're left with ac. And this is the expression on the right hand side. So we have successfully shown uh, that 2 is also true. Now we'll finally go to the third part. So here we will start from the right hand side. So on the right hand side, we are given 8b cubed. Now 8b cubed is simply 2b whole cube. Now in place of 2b, we can have a plus c using this particular uh, relation. We have a plus c whole cube. Now we're going to expand a plus c whole cube. So this is going to give us a cubed plus c cubed plus a 3ac multiplied to a plus c. Now we can replace this value of a plus c with 2b. So that's going to give us a cubed plus c cubed plus 3ac times. So in place of a plus c, we have 2b. And this is going to give us the expression on the left hand side. That is a cubed plus c cubed plus 6abc. So this is the expression on the left hand side. So part 3 is also proved as well. 